Hey guys, it's Elisa Amour from Spray Paint Art Secrets. And if you're really interested in learning spray paint art, then you're going to love this because I'm going to do a painting for you. And you can just listen and follow along as I explain each step. And if there's something you're really interested in here, then listen to it a couple times and go try it out with your own spray cans. And please do let me know how it went. That's it. So let's get started. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just marking where my planets are gonna go by using all my little bottle caps and spray caps that I've got. And then I'm filling those areas in, going light to dark. So I'm using white, yellow, pink, orange, and a metallic blue. And that metallic blue is kind of transparent color and it, it works very well with the orange because they're complements to each other. And then I'm gonna use my newspaper to create a design by crinkling it up and brushing my hands over it. And then I'm going to use my Color Place Black, uh, which is from Walmart, to shade it. And Color Place is a very nice soft black. So then I'm just going to put my, my planets on where they go, my, my little caps. And I'm going to fill in where the land is going to go, going again light to dark in that sequence, yellow, pink, orange. And I, I think um, in this painting I'm going to use a little red. I'm going to add that because it, it just adds a very vivid quality and it makes things seem nearer, especially in the land. So that's why I put it down below because I'm planning to make that section seem a little closer. So I'm putting a little bit of, of blue in the sky because I like the way the blue contrasts with the orange and the red. And then I fill in the rest of the areas with my uh, Painter's Touch Black where there's not going to be um, any specific lights. And then I'm just going to go back and I'm going to fix up the sky a little bit with my red and a little bit of orange and yellow maybe. And then a, a little bit of blue just to make sure that those planets have a nice, uh, a nice light behind them and that's metallic blue. So I'm putting a little bit of uh, brighter colors down over where my land is going to go and uh, I'm going to put a little rainbow in and you need a, to have good control of your spray can to do a rainbow. And if you notice, I'm spraying just a little bit from the side instead of straight on, and that lets me get a nice thin line. All right, so now I'm gonna take my paint spatula and I'm gonna take my Rust-Oleum white, and I, I really fling it hard at that painting because um, I want my stars to be small. That painting is wet, so when the stars, when the white paint hits it, it's going to expand slightly. Since I want my stars to be not splotchy, I, I do it real hard and uh, it comes out well. Okay, so now I take my, my planets off, and here I'm going to put a little clear color on that little planet because I'm going to put a ring around it. And I'm doing that with a little edge of a piece of poster board that I, I tore off. Um, and there's really no, no trick to that, you just have to have a, a pretty steady hand. All right, so I'm, I'm grabbing my, uh, it's paper from an advertisement that I got in the mail for something, but what I like about this paper, this advertisement kind of paper, is that it's not, it's not too hard and it's not uh, too absorbent either. It's just right, just right in the middle. Okay, so I stick my hand in it and I'm drawing inside of the paper with my fingers to create all those different effects. And then I'm going over it several times, and each time I go over it with my newspaper, I take off another layer of paint and reveal more of the designs that I made with my fingers. Okay, so right there I'm putting a little crystal clear on it, and I'm doing a, a sliding kind of a motion. And, and um, all this is actually explained in the video in, in much greater detail in the uh, Spray Paint Arts program. Um, Okay, so so right there I'm using my red to offset where I'm going to put some land. And red has the nice quality of that it makes things seem closer and warmer. So I'm using that to, to bring my land closer to me. So I'm putting a little transparent on it. And I'm going to make a dome as well, preparing for where my, my city's going to go. So I'm spraying inside that uh, piece of cardboard and I make that that uh, cool little dome and then I'm going to draw on top of it with my paint spatula because I've already loosened up my paint with transparent. Um, to draw with the spatula, uh, there's a, quite a number of, of ways of, of holding the spatula and drawing with the spatula and in the uh, spray paint arts program we, we teach you some exercises so that you can get, get good at drawing very quickly with the spatula which is what you really need to do if you want to be able to improvise. Okay, so I'm using my, my little uh, poster board to draw like a little a little space city around the uh, the, the castle, like a little dome. 
Okay, and I'm loosening up the paint there. And what I'm going to do is um, make it look kind of have a little highlight with some like like almost a little bit watery there. And I just move it around with my finger until I get it the way I like it. And then I might add a few details like a little bit of blue along the edges and just rub that in. Maybe a little bit of black. Something about finishing off the edges makes the, the painting look just that much better. And now I'm going to take a, a piece of uh, poster board that I've poked some holes in with a pencil and I'm just taking my Rust-Oleum white and I'm holding it a couple of inches above the paper and spraying it through the holes and that creates these nice star effects. And then I'm going to make a comment and just press down and whoosh, there it is. So let me tell you a little bit more about the Spray Paint Arts program. I am creating this program uh, to teach people how to paint with spray paint art, which is a really cool way to paint, um, with Gerardo Amor, who's he's my ex-husband, and he's like my best friend in the whole world, and he happens to be one of the original inventors of spray paint art. And if you want to know more about spray paint art and how it got started and the history, you can you can check out his website, which is GerardoAmor.com, and you can read about um, the history of how it came to be, and you can see uh, some of the cool stuff that he makes. Um, we're going to be putting together a bunch of free video tutorials uh, like this one to explain some of the techniques that maybe you haven't heard about. Uh, we're just doing whatever occurs to us as we go along. So, you know, if there's something particular that you would like to see explained, definitely drop me a note. And if you want to learn the really cool shit, <laughs> the stuff that uh, lets you paint anything you can imagine, then um, check out our Spray Paint Arts Secrets of Mexico program, which has like 10 DVDs of uh, lessons in different spray paint techniques, and it has a book that's over 100 pages uh, where all the techniques are explained in detail, and you'll be able to see that the sky's the limit as to what you can paint with spray paint. Cool, well, it's been a pleasure hanging out with you, and thank you so much for watching this video and everything, and stay tuned for lots more techniques that will take your spray paint art to the next level.